Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about what do you do when you don't like the colors that naturally suit you. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button right below. And I'm also going to link you to our free 47-page ebook. So if you want that delivered right to your email, go ahead and grab it right over there. Okay, the question that came in, I'm a low contrast, pale skinned, blonde, brownish hair individual, yet I hate earthy tones. It's a strong word. Brown and green invoke images of rot, mold, and decay to my mind. He obviously does not like his colors. Okay. <laughs> I like black, gray, white, dark purple, red bull blue, and reds. How do I make my color preferences work for me? Okay. So, I think the simple answer here is that, yes, we do all have colors that complement how we look. But that's really, there's a, oftentimes we think that, and I think this gentleman, he's not looking at everything that complements him. So, he needs to find something that can be his canvas. Something that, because the colors that he really likes and he's drawn to are a little bit too harsh for his natural complexion. Although I would have to look at pictures of him and maybe look at it up close, he could probably still pull off a few of those, but some of them don't sound exactly right for him. But the mistake he's making is he's thinking that these have to be the dominant colors he wears. Instead, what he should look to do is to have you know a nice canvas of simple colors, maybe lighter, ones that don't compete with his facial uh, contrast, because he's normally going to be overpowered if he wore if he wears black and white. But if he actually goes for something that complements his complexion a bit more, let's say something, you know, I know he doesn't like any of the earthy tones, but they're going to be ones that are a bit farther from that that he could go with. And what he should do then is bring in, I think it was Red Bull Blue and uh, the red. And so those type of colors, he can bring them into accessory pieces. And think of it like a spice. So, whenever you go and cook, a, a novice mistake that I made when I first started cooking is that I thought more spice is going to equal better food. I mean, it makes sense, right? Spices are good, so throw in more spice. And what would happen? It was overpower the food that I'm trying to eat, and it just didn't taste great. A chef understands that you put in the right spices at the right time, and they pull out the natural flavors. And that's what this gentleman needs to be thinking. How can he create and throw on a canvas of simple clothing and then accentuate it with the colors he really loves. So, he should look at pocket squares, at neckties, at little accessories which bring in the color. And that would be, I would think, initially starting off. If he were to design his own clothing or go to a custom clothier, he could actually bring in little bits. So, he could actually go with a very muted jacket that actually has perhaps a brighter color sewn into it. And it doesn't really come out unless he's wearing an accessory which brings out those colors. Um, the same could be for perhaps he wants to wear a very muted canvas on most of his body, but he wants to go for a bit more of eccentric shoes and some and pull out the colors he likes right there. So there are ways of bringing this into your wardrobe, even if you don't like you know the what most people would tell you are the correct colors. Now I'm working on a coloring and style system that's going to be available here at the end of 2011. And if you're watching this video and it's you know already in the late period, you're probably uh, going to have a link to it right below. Below. But I can tell you that color is really hard on the web, and I would probably have to see images of this guy to give him exact advice. But uh, the, the key point to take from this is that if you don't like the colors which most people are saying look great on you, then find the colors you do like and use those as your canvas colors. And then the colors that you really enjoy, which people say aren't going to work for you, will look to accentuate your outfit like a spice, a little bit here, a little bit there. there, And you're going to be surprised how people are going to focus in on those, those little uh, focus points which you put. Okay, hopefully that gave you a little bit of useful information. This has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.